Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back to I Love You, Colonel Sanders, a finger, a finger, <laughs> a finger licking good dating simulator. Now, I do not. Okay, so last video, I know it was rough. I know <laughs> my frames were terrible in part two, and I'm very sorry on that. I just want to say that it is very much due to my laptop I am using. I'm not using an entire desktop. No, I'm literally using a HP laptop. And I know, <laughs> and it's bad, okay? So, what I'm going to ask y'all is, please, like and subscribe. It really, no, no, I don't like need to like to force you or anything, but I'm going to, but s subscribing definitely helps me out when it comes to better quality and production of videos. And hit the notification <laughs> bell. I sound like a cringy YouTuber. Hit the notification bell to always hear me or when I post a video. But last time we were, you know, doing a kitchen battle apparently. Me and Colonel are getting to know each other now. And like, there was some whole RPG battle and stuff that that y'all miss sadly due to recording I don't know why but but what I can say is let's continue on maybe maybe when maybe this recording be better I don't know but let's continue this this intro is gonna be too long So since it's like loading and stuff, how are y'all doing today? Good? Y'all drinking water? How's your family and stuff? Tell me in the comments, I, I guess. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Oh, um, this is not where we left off. Um. This is definitely not where we left off. Uh. We left off at. Didn't we leave off at a certain part? Yeah, we left off somewhere else. We left off where we woke up and stuff. This is definitely not where we left off at. Oh. It's still the same thing. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. There's a lot of skipping that needs to be done. Because this is not the area we left off at. Oh, the save data. How did it fail? Uh, I didn't delete the data, right? So, like, I thought... I thought that it would at least save, so I guess that you need to like it needs to end off at a certain point for it to save. Oh god. Alright, um Oh god. What am I gonna do? Uh I can't make this too long, so I'm what am I gonna need to do? Uh uh okay. I'll do this, I'll cut the recording and We'll, I will, we'll leave off, I will, we'll pick up where we're supposed to be, so, be right back. Oh my god, bro. Uh -huh.
Okay, we are back to where we are supposed to be. So we're at this place. We're at this area at this point. He must. So let's start reading. He must have helped. Help. He must have helped you. Like help you get home in your tired state. You don't know if you could have made it without him. What a guy. You want to thank him, but you don't have the strength to utter a single word. You feel your covers being pulled up over you as you are tucked in tightly. Good night, my colonel. In your dream, you're together with Colonel Sanders. For some reason, Sprinkles, Sprinkles is also there. And something your love, love dreams are weird. Zzz. Whoa, these are all the characters? Wha wha okay, um, so yeah, those are the, all the characters. You're awake on day two, and attempt to process the wild visions you had. Were they memories? Were there <laughs> premonitions? You lie in bed and stare at the ceiling, thinking about the secret you discovered while tasting Colonel Sanders cooking yesterday. You can't believe he really used blank. And then there was that secret ingredient that Colonel Sanders went ahead and told you out uh, told you outright. Not much of a secret, huh? It is probably just because he already trusts you so much. Sure, that makes sense. We'll go with that. You meet up with your bestie in front of the school. You can tell her the story. Uh, tell her about the encounter with Spork Monster. She launches in into her own a story of her own. Okay, I know. I know that might. This might sound a little weird, but I might be. Um. I think I might like pop. Like him like 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 I know it sounds like I'm moving it's I feel like it's moving too fast there's there's something about him I like him like like him we got to we got we got we got to talking after class and he's actually totally a totally sweet guy not only that but he's really smart he told me all kinds of stories about Colonel Sanders. Did you know that Colonel Sanders enlisted in the army when he was only three? 
not only that, but he founded a he, he but he founded a special unit of super soldiers who all were wears the same hat just because he put a hat on one of one time and thought it looked cool. Well, Colonel Sanders doesn't even wear a hat. He wears a ribbon tie. Either way, maybe maybe it'd be best if he took it took it slow with this new boy. I'm like, I oh, oh god, I accidentally skipped that. You and Colonel Sanders, the coolest guy in school, the famous, the most famous student to ever attend University of Cooking School, Academy of for Learning. You're a thing now. We definitely connected yesterday. Ahaha! <laughs> sure you did. You're great. Why wouldn't he be interest be be into you? I guess. Laughing at the implication that you and Colonels might be a thing is definitely not cool. You are great. You have an idea about how to prove that your love is real. Well, if he's not into me, why did he tell me one of his secret ingredients? However, you don't tell her that you know the second ingredient too which you discovered on your own. Your bestie's eyes light up. Hmm. A secret ingredient? Yeah. Yeah, I just said that. A secret ingredient. Is there a dramatic echo in here? Miriam checks to make sure you're alone continuing. Dot dot dot. Dot 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 dot. So this summer, while I was on vacation with my family, a lovely man approached me in the botanical bo garden where I was wandering. This can't be good. He told me all about his passion of for spices, secret spices. The man gave me some, some to show me that he meant what he meant. He said it was a powder created from super duper rare fried flower petals, and that if I did did him a fav a big favor, big favor I could have some of my own. Miriam, please, Miriam, I don't don't tell me. So so I filled my suitcase with them and brought them home. He was so nice. He he even met me at the gate when I arrived. Later, when I cooked with him, with them, I very a very strange feeling came over me. The flavor was unlike anything I ever I'd ever tasted. I I think you're being very liberal liberal with the meaning of spices here. Whatever. Anyhow, we both share a, an interest in cooking. So we stay stay in the in touch, you know. Like pen pals. I bet he he would love to know more about new spices. Well, I'm definitely not supposed to share Corner Sanders recipe, secret recipe. And besides, I know I only know the the one ingredient, so I doubt it'd be that it'd be much use to anyone. Please, please, please it will mean the world to me. No one, no one has to know. It came from you or Colonel Sanders. Or Colonel Sanders. Um. It's like this is a hard choice. I want to say faith because it's a promise. It's a secret. You're supposed to keep a promise, and I feel like it's gonna backlash at us if we don't keep a promise. But then again, I don't want to lie to her. So it's much more important to keep a secret because people, you know, you kept a promise, you know, so you have to like, you know, keep that promise. So you gotta make it up. Make it up. You quickly think of a fake ingredient name. I don't know. How about? It was I, Newt. I know, sounds like kind of some witch's potion, but can 
what can you do? I knew it. Wow. Her eyes light up. Light up. Imagine such a thing. You figured you you satisfied her curiosity. She and she'll she'll move on. However, she immediately turns around and does some thumb typing on her phone that she can't quite see. That's probably not good. Before you can ask her to confirm that she is definitely not texting secrets to other people, you're interrupted. A wind washes and washes and cherry blossom petals fill in the fill the air. It's Colonel Sanders. He's arriving at school. Uh, man, we're gonna chase our dreams, yeah. Run to him. You decide that the best way to show Miriam how serious you and Colonel Sanders are, you would, you will be run to him. Surely, he'll sweep you up, up to on to up the back of his stallion, and you'll ride away together. That that'll show her, show her good. Oh, hey, Colonel, my Colonel. <laughs> However, your s sudden movement surprised the horse, and it rears up, kicking you directly in the face. Oh, my God. The force of the blow completely knocks you out cold. Am I dead? In the darkness, you see a vision. Ooh, Akuta. I'm here to... To deliver you a message? Wait, am I dead? You crazy? Not this guy. It is important that you remember this exactly as I say it. If you forget the world could end, you know it's serious. So you know it's serious. I have been trapped in a realm beyond what a great prophecy relies on my return. Only you can save me. All you need to do is repeat my name three times. That name is... But before you can continue, you suddenly awake. Ah, jeez! You, you awake to find Colonel Sanders tending to you. He roused you back to life. He roused you back to life with a satchel of secret spices or is it just his natural seasoned musk uh hey bro listen hey bro he is to whoa whoa whoa, whoa. you you normal for a day or you have to i'm guess you must be you put your arms around Colonel Sanders' neck and pull him for a kiss <gasps> but he turns his face as you awkwardly kiss his ear you f you can feel him shudder <laughs> too soon he quickly mistook his use for passion for love your soul crawls inside itself you instantly die of embarrassment i died oh my god what is this game oh my oh it's the it's Um, I'm expecting a load. Oh god. <laughs> if I seriously have to skip all the way over to to the last part I get to, I'm gonna cry. So far, we are not doing so good. <laughs> Sigh. Uh, how am I going to edit this video? Oh, man. I'm going to need to figure that out. Or, like, you know, add, add the, the, the cut parts. Oh my.
my god, we have uh, uh, do I need to cut again? Um It's like you can't screw up. Oh my god. Um viewer wise I definitely should cut. So uh, I'll figure out how to like, you know, put these all together into one video. So I'm gonna cut again. <laughs> I'll see you all. I'll see you all back. Hold on. I'll see. You, I'll see you all in, in a bit. Hold on. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, we're back. We're back. Oh my god. Okay, what we're gonna do is not lean for God and kiss. We're gonna do this. Maybe he shouldn't be riding a horse to school. Maybe you shouldn't be running up to animals you don't know. It's hard to say who is in the wrong here. But the one thing for sure is for sure it, that Colonel Samuel Williams is pretty dreamy. That horse has beautiful shoes. I could really feel smooth, how smooth and sturdy they were when they were pressing into my face. Nice, that's nice to hear. Not only it appreciates good craftsmanship any, any, anymore. And with that, Colonel Sanders disappears into school, leaving you and Miriam to follow. When you enter the classroom, why you can see your two rivals, Ashley and Van Van, are doing something bad. But the way they're hiding, you know it must be really bad. Let's continue. But like con counterfeiting bad recipe, these bad experimenting with restricted ingredients bad, summoning a demon bad. You try to get a peek over to Van Van's hulking shoulder. 
But he sees you coming. Whoa there. Oh, uh, whoa there. Little one, I'm not sure you're lady to handle this. Uh, why don't you make... Make... Uh, why would, don't you make like a bee and mine it, you wax honey? Tell them to stop acting immature. Act like you're not interested in them, but you really try to make their face look. Let, let's, let's be sneaky. You know what I'm saying? You sit near the rivals, but leave your back turned to them. You even hear Van Van mutter something that sounds a bit like a magic spell. However, he knows you eavesdropping. You try to cover your tracks, improvising an excuse. Ahem. <coughs> It's time for class, and you're distracting the rest of, of us. Who wants to learn? Now you have something. <gasps> oh, you're you're the emperor of cooking, are you? Do you make the <gasps> meals? I'm not sure. You uh, you know a good meal, if it if it ain't you. Being the best chef in the world takes more than culinary skills. It takes tricks. It takes panixi. It doesn't hurt, but it to use a little evil. You finally get a look to what is what it was they were hiding, and you instantly recognize it. It's a book. It's a book just like one you found after encountering after encounter with the spork monster. Some lore? That's the same book I that I found last night. And the quad actually immediately el elbows Van Van, who hides the book behind his back. Uh, um, I don't know what you're talking about. That book is a family hirelum. And it's and its contents are secret. You notice that they're they haven't been studying the book. They've they've got pop pinned to the wall. Whoa, hold on, bro. Why you got to pin to the wall, bro? What did pop do? Oh my god. You can teach these guys a lesson. Do I need to punch them? How do I punch? Right quick. And they're tossing potato skins at him as he tries to catch them in his mouth. We're playing, hee <laughs> hee. Before you can dig in any further, you're interrupted by, by the arrival of more students. It's almost time for class. Beep, beep, robot sounds. Clank must be running late. He's in such a hurry that he rolls right over to Van Van's meaty foot. Huh? Ugh. Hey, hey, watch it, you bucket of bullets. You watch how you talk to him. He didn't do anything. Bzz, bzz, uh, who do you think you're talking to? I've never heard such a language. No, even. You're not even from a. Stand mixer. Am I a stand user? Crazy. Womp womp. Not you. No, your mother was a stand mixer. <laughs> Ooh, robot sounds. Van Van jumps to attack Clank. Clank shocks Van Van, sending him flying across the room. Oh my God. He got anime punch. Pikachu used Thunderbolt. <laughs> Protect me, Kona Sanders. These three seas and praise the men are about to come to come to come to blows. I think I must be over here. But I'm not interested. And then neither of them, neither of them. Ashley uh, Ashley's tone has completely changed in the instant. See bats? See bats. Her eyelashes at Kono Sanders. Surely he must know that this is our ruse. Right? Right? 
You jumped to me. You get the hold of yourself. Save it for the arena of at the least. Or don't honestly. What do I care? I've got I got the luxury of of the career ins inspirations to focus on. Maybe I maybe I can help with your business plan. <laughs> oh, I hate this voice. Just just then, sprinkles arise to signal the true start of the class day. He's panting, which doesn't seem that abnormal. He's a professor, but he's also a dog. Students, students, please take a seat. I apologize for my late arrival. I spent the morning chasing a car all around town. And my tiny legs are very, very tired. But I am here now. And I hope you're ready to learn. Rub his furry dog belly. He loves it. Do I actually have to do it? Sprinkles stops in his tracks and sniffs the air around you. Something has him in, tra in a trance. It's the scent left on you from Colonel Sanders. Sprinkles jumps on you and licks your face. Down the, down the, down the boy. Down out of Unibon! The command shouted by Colonel Sanders has snapped Sprinkles out of his trance. I wonder what's up with that. Sorry, I... I got a little carried away. After he catches his breath, Sprinkles regains control of the classroom. Without further ado, we will review the globe history of my favorite flower, the chicken. You want to pay attention to the lesson, truly you do. What do I do? Which, which is why 1776, the signing of the Declaration of Independence, it was chicken. A, it was a chicken who first signed their name. Oh my God! But you can't help but daydream about Colonel Sanders, and you miss the most. Of the important parts. Oh my god. I need to study. When when you come to when you come to Sprinkles is holding a tray of food in front of you. Well, Akuta naturally this appears to you to be a simp as to be a simple platter. Which item do you want to sample? You know, let's you know, let's do it. Let's respect them. You know, eat the dog, basically. Because, because of the shape it's baked in, you assume the dog biscuit is a treat made by sprinkles. An example of his own culinary talents, perhaps. You reach out for it when. Oh God! Ah! Oh my god, Sprinkles jumps in up and bites onto your cooking apron? What kind of monster would steals, steals a dog's favorite biscuit? Oh yeah, that's true. Your apron is left in tatters. The entire class looks on in horror as you fall unconscious from the embarrassment. Never, I never even got to taste it. Is this the end? You fade into darkness, but something is there. The Spork Monster. Buddy, what's up? Borko. What are you doing here? It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not your time, my friend. Your act of kindness has not been forgotten. You watch as your apron magically appears itself. You won't want, you won't have to live in embarrassment anymore. Thank you, my friend, wherever you are. Uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna get a glass of water. 
you grab the glass of water and gulp it down. It's cool and crisp. Like the purest. Why is your water crisp? Why is like the purest snow melted by the spring amount of spring mountain my amount of spring. Hey, that was mine. It was my fa oh uh, my favorite toilet. Six dollars, and you've got you got and you got excellent taste. You think to yourself, "Geez, I should pay better attention." <laughs> well, we all make make mistakes. I'm sure he'll forgive you someday. One day we should live. Okay. Come on, it's time for lunch. What is this, bubble guppies? Before anyone can relax, the cafeteria lights dim. And your rivals enter to make a dramatic announcement. Shadow the Hedgehog is a... <laughs> Today's lunch will be prepared. Oh god, no, I just forgot his voice. Avilia, time competitive caca. The level of carry Oh, FedEx with these two it is off the charts. Um Alright bruh, I'ma have the balls and say stop wasting everyone's time. Let's do this. Is everyone is everything a competition with you two? Mm, yes. Yes. Well, not with me. I'm on a personal journey to learn to love, to learn to love, to love, uh, blah, blah, to learn to love, to to learn to love. Sure, why not? But definitely not cons constantly battle. Hey, stop your genre. Genres has crops. Don't you have some portable monst monsters to capture or something? I need to eat if I'm going to have I have the energy to sustain my education and for sure my dreams of being a master chef. Uh. How are any of us supposed to get anywhere if we're constantly fending off challenges? From every now, every know it all with an apron. Uh. Besides, I already thought your. I already bought my own much Akuta. You, you should have. Ha you should have it. I, it will give you the energy to you need to succeed. Miriam reaches out as, and presents you a gift to you. My special grilled cheese and tomato soup with chocolate milk. Wash it down to wash it down to and a tarlet for dessert. It only takes about five seconds to eat Miriam's tiny food, but it's just what you needed for motivation. Thank you, Miriam. You know what? I learned a lot today. Let's battle. The where's the Pokemon music? Just as things reach out to a boiling point, Sprinkle steps in. Surely he will stop this madness. Now, now, students, please settle down. This is a lunchroom, not a sportsing court. Finally, a little sense. You breathe a sigh of relief. At least not until you turn on the timer. Just then, a huge light blast in your face, flashing the words timer ready. That's what I'm talking about. I stand corrected. If it's a battle you want, it's a battle you'll get. My bestie can beat all of them. All the, uh, beat the best of them. Uh, best, the best of them. Oh, God. Words. 
You best believe it. I'm a cringy guy. Like a diamond, I form under pressure. And now is my chance to shine. I will defeat you myself. You had his chicken and you made mashed potatoes and gravy on day one. And you're feeling like you really impressed him again here. If it's to boil some water for the potatoes, it's time to boil some water. Think fast. The timer runs down. You'll be forced to pick randomly. What temperature? Oh, uh, uh, boy. Uh, 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 uh. Ah! That's wrong! Thank you, Okuda. You're, yeah, get your head in the game. Ah! You're going to need to season the, this chicken before you cook it. And you don't know the Chrono Center's recipe exactly, but you have an idea. Uh, um, seven. Seven's the lucky number. Oh my god! I've been scoring as, I've been scoring has been with better since that than that. The miniature mind kind no less that you got some basic steps going. It's time to elevate your craft. Um Trust Ah <laughs> I'm begging you to get it together. Get it? I'm a dog. Look, it's never the wrong time to make just for some job jokes. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> You're gonna need to cut again. Uh. <laughs> Is there a retry? You're not at part three. Oh my god. How do I start over? Please tell me it's saved. Does this game even have any save points? I'll do a little bit more, but then I'll end it off. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna need to edit a lot. <laughs> the problem with this game is that there's no safe point. No. Uh -huh. The next time I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna make people suffer. No. Uh 